And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karma Marauders. It's going to be our next viewer submitted donation deck. This is going to be a Legion Marauder deck where we're going to be playing that with Ionia uh, for Tail Cloak Matriarch. So this is the first time that we recall a follower each round. We're going to summon an exact ephemeral copy of it. So what we can do is if we have the Matriarch in play and a Legion Marauder in play, then we can recall our own Legion Marauder, maybe like with a Sanctuary or a Retreat Return or something. And then we get an, an Ephemeral copy of the Legion Marauder. So then we can attack with the Ephemeral copy and buff up our normal copy. Um, if we use a Go Get It, we got two copies of Go Get It. Go Get It will not only um, put a, an Ephemeral copy in play from the Go Get It, but it will also put an Ephemeral copy in play from the Tail Cloak Matriarch. So we can get you know, like two ephemeral um, Legion Marauders with that. So that could be pretty cool. We're also going to have a couple strength and numbers for more Legion Marauders. We're going to have two incisive tacticians that are going to be rallying. This definitely works with, works well with a lot of cards in our deck, you know, including, you know, recalling the tactician to get an ephemeral one to, re to rally again. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, also works well with Mirror Image from LeBlanc that we can summon uh, a copy of the incisive tactician and rally some more so that's what we're going to kind of be doing getting a bunch of marauders in play rallying a bunch attacking a bunch and you know just kind of seeing how that works karma's in here to kind of do some karma stuff it will get us some extra spells that are probably going to be useful it can double up things later on like we can have double strength in numbers once karma is enlightened um and things like that like that could be cool uh, we got Eye of the Dragon as our early defense to help us stay alive. I'm not sure exactly how good of an Eye of the Dragon deck we're going to be, but we'll we'll kind of see. You know, we have like Retreat Return, Sonic Wave. Those cards are awesome with Eye of the Dragon. Uh, so we'll kind of see how that works out. But anyway, let's go and get to some games. Let's play some Karma Maradas. Here we go. Vladimir Braum. All right, Vladimir Brahms, good deck. Okay, so we'll mulligan the Tactician. I kind of want to keep these other cards. Let's do it. Is it greedy me keeping the go get it? Absolutely. But I still want to. I'm glad we have the attack token on round three. I'm going to not play... Oh, man. Now which one do we play? I'm not playing the Eye of the Dragon so I can have the Retreat Return available. Man, should I start hitting him with LeBlanc and start going towards Reputation? Or do we start growing Legion Marauder? I guess we start growing Let's Legion Marauder. But, you know, going towards Reputation would be nice, too. Okay, as expected. And that's why we didn't play out of the dragon. Towards our reputation. It is easy, see? Look what I found. <laughs> Help is on the way. Hmm. This is tough. Because this level's up, Braum. You 
Okay. So you're just gonna take the leveled up Rom. I get I get a leveled up LeBlanc. We both have our champion champions leveled up. Remember the objectives. That's pretty nice. Next round, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll have eight mana if I do not play Eye of the Dragon, seven mana if I do. Seven mana is probably fine with Concussive Palm Retreat Return. The spirit gives to those who listen. The winter's claw will purge the weak. I suppose it will. Clear it out. Okay, so I'm a two out of four. I kind of want to go block block. That enables my reputation. And we, do we create a mirror image? No, 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 because that's only 11 towards creating a mirror image. They probably have another ice shard. And I guess they're, yeah, they, like they have more ice shards. Shard or Death Lotus? Alright, Death Lotus. Doesn't kill that thing. Problem's a problem. This problem is a problem. I have the man. I need the reputation. The road sends its fine. A pedal for the sword. They have just three mana. too well. Yeah, we remove we remove Braum, but they're looking good in the late game now. Like you know, now I, I have no power left. And they you know they have three cards in hand. I can't really attack with the two one because they block with Kirater. 
guess I have to keep the, the tail of the dragon alive also for retreat return. Card draw. They had the whisper words. We haven't. Could really use karma. Also, you know, we need that's that's the kind of stuff that we need. Oh man, this is this has been the difference. The the games they've had these whisper words, and I haven't. The table is set. Now we die. Which overall, I think we have more card draw, right? Because we have, you know, Dancing Droplet, combo stuff, but we also have, we only have two Whisper Words, they probably have three, but still, we also have Karma. Where is Karma? Your attack is obvious. Good, we got that thing out of here, that's good. So many Brahms. You are safe with Brom. Oh right, that doesn't even kill Brom anymore. At least they're scared. Nine, ten. Oh, so close. Unfortunately, I think it's ten tough. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Let's show our friends the door. Good luck. Someplace. I always want to get these curators out of here because they can just, you know, turn into a lot of things. Obviously, Brom can as well. Okay. It could be worse. That's that card's now gone to protect Brom. That's good. last card to have. That's why I tried to kill the Crimson Curator. Okay, so Challenger. Challenge you. You also attack. Silisk Bloodseeker got me, but we killed Brom. That's good news. First, let the blood, then stop the heart. I have the blood. I need the reputation. Stop. You should have run. Oh, 
Smash. That's too much overwhelm. GG's. Man, what a last card to have. That was close. No, no karmas and no whisper words. And we still almost got there. But it didn't quite. Yep, GG's. Okay, so maybe I should be keeping all this stuff, but uh, Homecoming I'm keeping because it can recall a landmark. So like if they're you know counting down this sun disk, we can put it back into their hands. Um, and then you know LeBlanc needs protection. LeBlanc only has the two health. Twin Disciplines is a great card at protecting LeBlanc, and so that's why I'm keeping both the Twin Disciplines to go along with the LeBlanc. I go, I go. The best luck. What's up, Sparky? Hope you're having a good one. What a treat. Move. Oh dear. With the power of time, the possibilities are endless. Drawn to. We can only save three spellman anyway. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Where I go, carnage follows. Uh, hmm. It's only is followers. It's not like the worst thing in the world. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Like this thing would challenge as a six five and just trade with LeBlanc. Oh. Guess those have been those were all pretty bad for me. I hate having to put my face on. I need just a moment. My name will echo through the ages. All right, gonna trade with the Renekton. We definitely have reputation enabled now, so that's good, that's good. We love it when they run. Oh me, Kyalon. What will you become, I wonder? Wrap them up tight. I mean they could have Shapestone, I guess, but I don't think it's very likely. Like I I'm Like I think that this should work. I'm kinda of, kinda of relying on that to work. To keep LeBlanc alive and level up LeBlanc. Oh, Ruthless Predator? Alright, well. See, if I would have played, I could have played Eye of the Dragon instead of the Tailcloak Matriarch, and then I would have had Homecoming also, but you don't want to save Homecoming for that card anyway. Um. I guess I'll play you. I don't know if I need to play you or not. And, you know, just getting the Tailcloak Matriarch in play that costs a lot of mana was more desirable. Let me hear you call our Emperor's name! Jerimans, I have waited millennia to hear your cheers. Not here, not now. All right, so we got reputation by a long ways. Shurima. 
Inside save tactician. Oh no! Oh, that soothsayer was good. Yeah, that thing was good. Now I can't homecoming their landmark anymore. First let the blood, then stop the heart. Oh dang. Wow. What a combo. That soothsayer was perfect. Wow. Well, that's a uh, that's unfortunate. I guess we'll just eat some popcorn. Man, what a soothsayer. Jerima is sand and sky, past and present. Let's get the popcorn ready. I'm not sure it's really possible to beat level 3 Renekton. I don't even know what you do. Probably something crazy. Put a sandstone charger into play whenever things attack. Deception is natural. We could still maybe get this. I'll get you all. What are you to a god? Oh, that does. W whenever it blocks, also. Never mind. We can't get this. Yeah, never mind. I just can't. I can't win this because like this is just gonna kill me. A twelve overwhelm and two to my nexus every time it blocks. Because I had kind of a little bit of a. Like I had a little bit of a plan. If it wasn't, if this thing didn't happen on blocking, I thought I was kind of thinking that I was just gonna be attacking. If that didn't happen on blocking, because, you know, like, now we rally again, and, you know, attack with these things again, and so on, but... Look what I found. <laughs> Oceans of blood! So did that card only cost one mana? Sarcophagus? Oh wait, they just didn't attack? Huh? Yeah, this card only costs one mana? I thought- see, I thought, also thought that this would cost three and they couldn't replay this. I guess I should look at the cards. The thing only is just a one drop. That's weird. The spirit gives to those who listen. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. Hmm. So it says eight, but it actually costs six. The word before birth. What is it for you? Yeah, they're just having a lot of fun. They just wanted they wanted to see more movies and stuff. They don't want to kill me. Gonna play Nasus. Oh, Nasus isn't leveled up. There they go. Man, that Soothsayer won him that game. I 
had a good plan with that homecoming. But Soothsayer. Ezreal Puppy. So we're going Bandle City. All the Bandle City stuff. Let's keep Eye of the Dragon and Karma and Retreat Return. And we'll send the Tailcloak Matriarch back. Eye of the Dragon. Plus, Retreat Return can do some good defense. I'm starting to think that maybe this just shouldn't be an Eye of the Dragon deck at all. Because I, I want to. I guess we don't have the attack token on round three. Okay, okay. Because so I want to play LeBlanc on three and attack and keep like Retreat Return to protect LeBlanc. And so it's like then we never ever get to play these cards. But since we don't have the attack token round three, I guess we can go eye into eye. And then LeBlanc on four. Karma on five. Whoa, Dancing Droplet. What are you doing in here? I mean, I could play Droplet, Block, Retreat, Return. Eh. Watch and learn. Firing. I just don't care that much about these either dragons. Time to make an appearance. Onic wave could be good. Afraid of that. Sure. Okay, so since that retreat return fizzled, we do not get draglings. But to be fair, it doesn't seem like we really need draglings this round anyway. Today's the day I find that hero. I really wish we would have. I guess. We, uh, okay. So I didn't. I didn't keep any eye of the dragons. I guess in my opening hand, we did draw them all afterwards, didn't we? This. This card just doesn't matter. Firing. We've seen game after game that the dragon it's, binds us. it needs to be something else. Some card that matters. Okay, are we killing Ezreal or Poppy? Probably Ezreal. I don't know exactly what we're doing about this Poppy yet. But maybe I, the dragon, can do something. We got a donation deck. Oh, I was supposed to drop what attack for one. Let's see what we get. From Nasher. Thank you, Nasher. For discarding Chrono Break. Okay, it's Talia and Catalog of Regrets. Cool, cool. Where there is life, there Thank is. Thank you, Asher. Who the next 
Talia, Catalog of Regrets. So, Talia, make more Catalogs of Regrets. That's pretty cool. This has been a very depressing game. Viego Callista Hecarim. Okay. So we can have... Get rid of that. We can have LeBlanc Retreat Return to Protect LeBlanc. Strengthen, strengthen Numbers to get us more Marauders. And try to attack and win with a whole bunch of Marauders. Unfortunately, we've drawn a couple of Eye of the Dragons. We, we shall not rest until all the traitors um, We can trade Legion Marauder for Callista, I suppose. Two out of three for Callista level up. This is actually just a really good position for my opponent. So normally we'd use like twin disciplines to protect Legion Marauder, but this is a really good position for them because they want the Camavorn Soldier to. Oh, I am very surprised by that. I mean, I don't, I don't do the damage for LeBlanc, but I am very surprised by that because they want the Camavorn Soldier to die so that they can bring it back with Callista. I am. Quite surprised. Oh wait, really? Isn't this isn't this supposed to be a four three? It says Legion Marauder plus one plus one, but then it just says three two. Shouldn't that be a four three? Victory requires a sharp blade. We're showing you what you can see. And then all costs. Good hand. Hopefully it works. Let's get a bunch of Legion Marauders and attack. I'm hoping this is a visual bug. This is a still a 4-3. Man. It's been a good Cam of War and Soldier hand. Okay, so we're going to have... 5... 10... 15... Okay, so it doesn't really matter there. We'll do it like that. Okay, cool. Now it shows 7 6. Okay, cool. So this will be. You know, 15 damage. You know, this will level up LeBlanc first. Before LeBlanc strikes, so LeBlanc's attacking has 6 power. No, that's too bad. Okay, come on, rally card. Incisive tactician. Nope. 
Alright, so good news is they can't interact. We each hold a world within. They don't have any mana to interact. So this thing is going to be going homecoming. Which maybe I still do. Where are you at? You're at seven. If you ain't hurt, you will be. I just don't really want to lose. I'm not bad at All right, so if we homecoming here, I guess let's see. Okay. Let's go Twin Disciplines plus zero plus three. There. Block here. Block there. That gives me a mirror image. Kills their Callista. Size of tactician? No. Nope. Okay, so we lose one Legion Marauder. Spell at round end. <laughs> so easy. Okay, not so good, not so good. Could be better. That's kind of saying that their hand isn't very good either, that, you know, they're just... Playing that, sacrificing. Let your story shine. Come to the light. We take four, but then heal ten. Alright, so if we're gonna open attack anyway, we might as well play this mirror image on. Oh, I can't do it on the Karma. Right, it has to be something five plus five. I was gonna say on the Karma, because then we'd get the round end, create a random spell. Alright, so I could play you, I the Dragon. But you're probably not worth it. You'd rather just have the open space. I mean, I guess I could play the monastery. Uh, that really help. Peace begins within. I guess I need cards out of my hand. Don't I? All right, let's see what they do. Such naivete. Join the conflagration. I 
I feel like I'm not supposed to. They're saying GG's, but I feel like I'm not supposed to be buffing up the Dancing Droplet because of Vile Feast, but looks like that was okay. All right, so that worked. I'm not sure we're going to be winning that, but just, you know, getting the strength and numbers down early, we got to attack a lot with those Legion Marauders, and they eventually overpowered. Yeah, I just wanted to play around Ruination and everything, so I wanted to open attack, but that would have been really cool how we could have mirror imaged the Karma, and then we had two level up Karmas in play, and then everything's doubled. You know, like, we could have done some cool stuff like that, but I wanted to, um, yeah, I wanted to open attack. And play around Ruination. Okay, let's see if we can get that second win. Chat says we gotta win two. Our opponent's playing good old Demacia. So it looks like they're playing Elites. That's the indication right now. Let's have some fun. A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. That card's pretty big. I hate having to put my face on. I'll write my own story. You should have run. I guess it's worth the attack. It's like right now it's just a 3-2, but you know, they could just trade with the 3-4, but it's worth it. Oh, no trade Still so much to learn. No trade Zs. Huh. Okay. Well, that's a pretty good board by round four. Ooh, they're going on guard. I thought they were going to go four to monsters, but now they're going on guard. So, Scout Challenger. Oh, nope. Just attack with everything. Okay. That makes my life difficult. I wonder if that like means that they have a rally in hand. Because that could be very problematic if that means that they have a rally in hand. Yeah, because I, I, I think if this is a rally, we're just going to basically lose. Unless I, unless I like, just let both these things die. I guess I can, so I can, I, we definitely have to let LeBlanc die to protect against rally. I suppose I can do this. Because I kind of feel like that's what they were doing here is... Oh, but, but then if it's rally... It's rally. We're just in a lot of trouble if it's rally, because then then they get to scout attack after the rally. Okay, good. I say if it was, it was a great play by them. But I don't think it'll be a rally anymore. Still a very good play by them. So I want to play Glory Seeker here. It's just pretty awkward of having, you know, five mana, two mana, five mana when you have six. I wanted to Glory Seeker challenge the Scout, but I think that maybe it's more important for us to get Karma in play and hope that we hit a, a very useful random spell. They're allowing both these things to die, so that means they they wanted the board space. I've trained my whole life for this. Where there is life. There is hope. That was the other problem with going the Glory Seeker challenge. Ardent Tracker line is that it would just gave them the board space, but one Redeemer drew the other Redeemer that drew something else. Okay, Shadow Shift is not a useful spell. When we, talk, when we think about useful spells, that's not one. We march. By force of will. If you ain't hurt, you will be. You cannot win. The dragon binds us. Gave my all. No end. I fight with my spirit, not. 
not my fist. Yuck. Victory requires a sharp blade. We have to cast two spells this round to get the Draggling. The one thing that like killing stuff does is just again allows them to just replay other things. I don't really see any good lines. The best lies are beautiful. A crown guard never falters. Okay. Good hand opponent. Good playing. Good game. You got us. We have learned as much as we have suffered. They were too elite. Okay, so it didn't quite work out for our Karma Marauders, and I think that I think there's some good stuff here. I think Legion Marauder is a good card. I think LeBlanc Karma, Legion Marauder, all that, um, incisive tactician. I like all that parts of our deck, but I was very, very underwhelmed with the the recall part of our deck, and I think that that's kind of the the thing here. The Tailcloak Matriarch. Um, you know, didn't look very good. That Dancing Droplet, Eye of the Dragon, Monastery, all those kind of things just didn't really seem like they fit. Go get it. And they really just didn't, didn't seem like they were contributing to winning. Um, that, you know, we could win in spite of them, but not, you know, because of them. And then instead, if we had, you know, more interaction, more, you know, even like Spirit's Refuge, more card draw with Whisper Words... Um, all that kind of stuff. Glory Seeker was good. Wouldn't mind another one of those. Um, that all those kind of things could maybe help a little bit more. But oh well, that's that's how it is. You know that that's how it is. Um, but that's Karma Marauders. I haven't really. I don't. Okay, so this has been a donation deck a couple of times. I guess I just don't really understand exactly what Karma is supposed to do for these Marauders. You know, like you know, Legion Marauder, LeBlanc, Incisive Tactician, Strength in Numbers. Those are all good, but. What are we supposed to do with the karma? Is it supposed to double? Is it supposed to double strength in numbers? I guess that's what it's supposed to do. Maybe. I don't know. I I'm missing something here because <laughs> it uh, whatever it's supposed to do doesn't work for me. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I I I guarantee that I didn't play the best then because I guess I don't really understand. <laughs> but um, I know I know it's a popular deck though. I know a lot of people like the deck so. Um, you know, some everybody plays different decks better or worse and, and everything. I think this is a deck that I don't play very well. I think that that's also part of it. I think that I'm probably supposed to be doing some kind of something with the Eye of the Dragon, Go Get It, Karma, Tailcloak, Matriarch that I'm just not doing. Maybe there's something I'm supposed to be doing. But that's going to be it, though, for Karma Marauder. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the list. If there's, you know, if you have any good, like, explanations of, like, things that, like, how this is supposed to work and work out really well, you know, feel free to put it over there. I would appreciate it. But that's going to be it for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.